Hey guys, this is Jordan here, and I'm about ready to install a wireless card into this gateway computer here, which is in a temporary setup. It's a USB card, of course. But before I install that, I figured while I'm turning this on, I'd show you guys just how fast of a booting computer this is. This is a computer powered by a Celeron D processor at 3.06 GHz and it's got 1.5 gigs of RAM. It runs Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 and let's just see how fast this thing boots up. Twenty five seconds in. Thirty three seconds. Now that's not bad for a Windows XP computer. I'm going to put in my password here and let's see how long it takes to uh, log in here. Oh, that reminds me, uh, I reset the date and time and it tripped the, um, the evaluation copy thingy. Whoops! I gotta go reset the date and time. <laughs> and it just blue screened. Whoopsies! My toy! Yeah. My toy! Yeah, I wanna hear it. Is that all? For now. For now? For oh. now. Aww. Okay, fine. Ah, uh, gotta love the sound of good old fashioned uh, creative speakers. Oh crap! Pause it. There's someone in here getting their hair done. They look like a nice witch. <laughs> no kidding. I don't know what is out there in the middle of the street. But you see that white thing out there by the crosswalk? Let's go take a look at it. I better hope it's not a fucking bomb. I'd like to know just what the hell someone put out there in the middle of the street. I can't, oh god, now I know what the heck it is. Someone put a, uh, they put a McDonald's bottle out in the middle of the street. Like, really people? Are you that lazy to not throw away your stuff? <sighs> Good god. People are so stupid nowadays, I swear to goodness. Wow. What a waste of time to come out here to find out there's a freaking McDonald's bottle right out in the middle of the fucking street. <laughs> People are so lazy nowadays. Why? Why? <sighs> I shouldn't ask. <sighs> anyway. Okay, this is just completely weird. So I'm using Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009. I just used the Tweak NT Time Bomb Remover process, which ended up changing the licensing to Windows XP Professional. And the funny thing is, now there's a glitch in Windows that now prevents me from logging on. So if I come in here and I put in my password for the admin account, and then if I log in like usual, now I have this new error message that comes up. A problem is preventing Windows from accurately checking the license for this computer. Error code 0x800-7047E. And then as soon as I press OK or press Enter, it logs me right back out. So I don't know if anyone else has had that weird little glitch happen to them or not, but like, that's really strange. 
I've never seen Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 do that before. So, I don't know. Let's try, um... I'm going to try rebooting the system here. Let's try that. So, I don't know what the heck it's doing, but something is causing it to go, like, oh my god. Now the licensing has all of a sudden changed. Now i got to prevent the user from logging on, so that way they get frustrated and have to reinstall the whole freaking operating system once again. I think that's what the whole point of that is. I don't even know what that is. But, like, something mischievous is behind all this. <laughs> Freaking windows. <clears throat> so I guess I'll give this another try. Why don't you say that? I might even try safe mode if um, rebooting this doesn't work. I think that's what I might just try and do. I'm not entirely sure. Because Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 is just being a big doofus right now and it ain't liking me. But that's typical. So I pretty much spent like an hour or something like that installing updates, and now it's broken. So, what a waste, you know. <laughs> yeah, see, it identifies itself as XP, but I would think that would only be the, uh, the uh, login background and the information. But nope, it screwed everything up, I think. Yep. Yep, it's all screwed up now. That's great. <laughs> Whatever. I guess I'll just reinstall Windows Embedded again. I have to go through that trouble once more. <sighs> okay, I'm getting lazy now. Take three in this freaking installation process, I swear. <sighs> Thankfully, I still remember my product key to install the damn thing. It's just, this is just getting really annoying. Uh, whatever. Hey guys, it's Jordan Woolery here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a piece of unique software from Microsoft. What is that, you may ask? Well, first of all, here we have regular old Windows 98, with Microsoft Plus, of course. This is running on a Pentium 2, clocked at 400 MHz, and has 768 megs of RAM. At least this particular system does, anyway. So, before we get started, let's take a look at the Windows 98 tour. So first, we have to go in to Accessories and Welcome to Windows. So as you can see, we are greeted with this window and that awesome 30 second wave file telling us welcome to the exciting new world of Windows 98 where your computer desktop meets the internet. Yep, that was true. Windows 98 was more focused on integrating internet based apps and everything like that to introduce the user to the internet's world wide web. Turns out I had to force power down the system. I don't know what was going on with it, but BIOS did not initialize. I don't know if it's a RAM problem or if it's something else. And now I can't get the power connected to make a good connection. Oh, there we go. Let's try that again. There we go. Oh, 
if I got it defaulted to an external monitor or if it doesn't want to use the BIOS. Hope the system isn't dead. I don't think so. Last I powered this up, the system booted just fine and it ran just fine. go back and check the RAM card just to be sure it's got a good connection. connection on the memory. And boys, that speaker turned up quite a bit. <laughs> well, the uh, resume battery didn't go dead, but the backup battery is certainly... Um, you can see the ghosting already happening on this display. The black levels are obviously not even. That's a common problem with these uh, computers. They apparently don't have a good connection on the power connector. Oh my god. A common problem with this laptop. Uh, there's a bent prong on the power jack. It's bent, so it doesn't really get a good connection. It's like barely connects. I don't know why it is, but it does that. <clears throat> anyway, um, try again.